Hi everyone, Daniel Gray here at jolterkane.com. This video is the first in a series of my anti-aging journey. Before we go any further, let's get the disclaimer out of the way. So, I'm not a doctor or medical professional. This is purely a video log of my personal experiences. You should not be making any decisions based on my actions or intentions. Right, <laughs> that's done. So, why anti-aging at the age of 34? What made me think about going down this road? Well, anti-aging at 50, 60 or even 70 is a pretty pointless exercise. Well, it's not pointless, but you've probably already aged a great deal before. I believe prevention is better than the cure. I believe that anti-aging really should start in your mid-30s. Because from this point onwards, you start to rapidly age. So, for instance, I've already, already started to notice ageing in myself, internal and external. So, grey hair, hair loss, wrinkles, joint pains and longer recovery times. So, for me, it's a no-brainer and that's what I want to do. I want to start anti-ageing. So, I've been researching this for quite a few years and I've decided that I want to add the following routine into my daily life. So... And as it happens, that started today. So here's a routine that I've added. Now, before starting my anti-aging journey, I decided that it was important to get a starting point, a baseline, if you will in order to highlight any positive or negative effects over time. So I went to a company in London called Medichex. There I got my IGF-1 test done, insulin-like growth factor one, and a well-man ultra-bit blood test. So the IGF-1 was eight pounds, and the well-man ultra-bit blood test was 150 pounds. These have 47 tests in total so I'll go through my test results now and then I intend to go back there in three or maybe six months to see what the difference is over time good or bad so just to prove the time and date I've put time in London into my phone I do a google search And it comes up 1017, Friday 18th of October 2019, BST. And that concludes my blood test. Both results were completed and posted in my members area on the 21st, giving a three day turnaround. My IGF-1 came in at 23.5 nmol per litre. This converts to 179 nanograms per milliliter. Currently, my levels are in the 35 to 39 age range. Ideally, I would like to get to the 20 to 24 age range, which is 32 nmol per litre or 250 nanograms per milliliter. This is a doctor's overview of my Wellman Ultrabit blood test. All of my results are shown in the following slides. The only points of concern, creatine kinase was high, but I trained legs that day and also skated to Harley Street from King's Cross on the day of getting the test done. Also, my vitamin D was showing low. When I had the test done, I was also recovering from a mild cold. This may have been the reason. Results for red blood cells, white blood cells and clotting status. Kidney health, liver health and proteins. Diabetes and cholesterol. Inflammation, gout risk muscle health, iron status and minerals, vitamins, thyroid, 
and testosterone. Now, this video wouldn't be a Jelts game video if I didn't timestamp it. So, hey Siri, what's the time? It's 2025. Hey Siri, what's the date? It's Monday, the 4th of November 2019. There you have it. Always timestamp. So, there's plenty of links in the description below if you want more information on my anti-aging routine. You've been watching Daniel Gray at jeltsgain.com. Don't forget to click and subscribe so that you're notified when the next videos come out. Like I said, three to six months. Okay, thanks for watching.